Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and, of course, analysis with me, your trusted host. So, guys, let's get into today's juicy details, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a no holds bad conversation that dives deep into the murky waters of Meghan and Harry's hideous plot against the royal family. Today, we've got some explosive developments that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about Megxit. Brace yourself for the shocking truth as we unravel the web of lies spun by the mastermind Meghan and her puppet Harry. But stop right there. Before we disclose any juicy details, subscribe and hit that all-important bell icon, guys. You're not going to want to miss this. So now the drama unfolded in court as Harry trembled under the weight of truth when the palace presented none other than Earl Spencer as a witness. Yes, the uncle of Prince Harry, the younger brother of Princess Diana, and the godfather of Prince George, Earl Spencer, is stepping into the ring to debunk the Megxit lies. It's a move that promises to turn the tide against the Sussexes and expose the ugly reality behind the claims. Now let's rewind to one of the most controversial moments in recent history, Harry and Meghan's interview with Oprah. The couple painted a vivid picture of victimhood, alleging they were forced to leave the royal family due to lack of support, protection and an overwhelming sense of neglect. But hold on to your seats folks because Earl Spencer is about to drop a truth bomb. Earl Spencer, a man with deep connections to the royal family, is set to testify that Harry and Meghan were not forced out but made a conscious choice to leave their own personal reasons. The revelation directly challenges the very foundation of the Sussex's claims, laying bare the fact that they weren't victims of circumstance but architects of their own destiny. But that's not all. Earl Spencer is gearing up to expose the Sussex's allegations of racism and neglect. The truth about the relationship between the brothers, Harry and William, and their father, Prince Charles, is on the chopping block. The palace is betting big on Earl Spencer's evidence, confident that it will dismantle the carefully crafted victim narrative. Now let's talk about the audacity of the Sussexes, naming their daughter Lilibet Diana, without consulting Earl Spencer and the rest of the family. Rightly, he's furious, and he has denounced the move as a betrayal. Meghan and Harry, it seems, have no qualms exploiting Diana's name and image to further their own brand and agenda. And Earl Spencer is not alone in the scepticism. Royal experts, commentators, and fans have raised doubts about the validity and accuracy of Meghan and Harry's statements, inconsistencies, and contradictions. Their stories have fueled suspicions. The legal battle between the Palace and Sussex is shaping up to be a spectacle of epic proportions. Both sides are gearing up for a long, bitter fight with reputations and integrity hanging in the balance. As the courtroom drama unfolds, one can't help but wonder about the broader implications for the monarchy and the relationships within the royal family. The outcome of this case could reshape the narrative surrounding Harry and Meghan, affecting their popularity and leaving an indelible mark on the future of the monarchy. So stay tuned. Soon, folks, the truth is about to be laid bare, and karma might just be biting back. The spotlight is on, and the stakes are higher than ever. So stop lying, Harry and Meghan, because the world is watching, and truth will prevail. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis. Goodbye for now.